Thank you. Now, our next guest, wait for it, there's the graphic. He says Donald Trump is the Lady Gaga of politics, challenging <laughs> what is normal. Lady Gaga once said in an interview with The Independent, I'm going to read it to you. They would say this is too racy, too dance oriented, too underground. It's not marketable. And I would say, my name is Lady Gaga. I've been on the music scene for years and I'm telling you, this is what's next. And, and look, I was right. Who would write such a story? Dan Henninger, Trump as Lady Gaga, and he's right here with us this morning. Who did Lady Gaga that, sound that, like? That will be one of the most read articles ever <laughs> in the Wall Street One can only hope. <laughs> Why, what's the association here? Well, I think they have a lot in common, not least what Lady Gaga was just saying, that everyone thought she wasn't marketable, and she said, I'm the next thing. Well, that's what Donald Trump said about a year ago. They think, I'm running the wrong kind of campaign. Well, I'm telling you, I'm going to win. And what they had in common is they're both basically performance artists. Really? That's interesting. A mere performer just entertains. What a performance artist does is disrupt and alter and challenge the status quo. That's what Lady Gaga does with her acts. And that's what Donald Trump is doing with his tweets and with his, uh, pre the pre pre period of his president-elect. He is simply disrupting what is normal. He's putting everyone on their back foot. He's not allowing the media to take his story and tell everybody what the story really is. He's telling the media, I will be in charge. And that's why he does things like, I have a couple of favorite tweets. When, when Jill Stein goes into her recounts, and they're all saying, the press is saying, is this going to alter the Electoral College? And is this a threat to Trump? The next day, Trump threats, quote, illegal, millions of illegals voted for Hillary Clinton. The press goes nuts and they go chasing after this story. <laughs> the next day, another tweet. If you burn the American flag, you should be deny your citizenship or you're in jail exclamation point and the press runs around looking at all these cases saying this can't be <laughs> if the press does nothing but microscopically fact check everything trump says they're going to miss the point his point is that he is using all of these techniques whether it's tweeting hyperbole sometimes the facts he's trying to get to point b which i think is where his voters wanted to get and achieve certain things for the country in terms of prosperity right. and, I would add, uh, suppressing political correctness. But can he keep on being the great disruptor, the performance artist? That's I mean, the, look down the road, yeah. three years into That's this really, and he's still the same guy? Yeah, we could get four years out and saying electing a performance artist was a big mistake unless his method works. And I think there are liabilities. I mean, he could get to the point where he's thinking he has to put attention on himself all the time. And I suggested in this column, we had some other performance artists in the presidency, Franklin Roosevelt, Jack Kennedy, and Ronald Reagan, people who were charismatic, who knew how to go out in public and draw attention to themselves, but they understood there was something out there greater than what they were all about, greater than their public performances. And that's what we're going to find out with Tom, Donald Trump, whether he thinks there is something at stake larger than merely getting all this attention. Donald Trump, Lady Gaga, performance artist, Dan Henninger. Keep watching. That story <laughs> is going to be read and reread forever. Dan, thank you very much indeed, sir. Appreciate it.